This is a photo. This, even though abstract, is still a photo. Today, we are talking about intentional camera movement. So I was on YouTube and I was going through my comments and I found this comment from Leap of Faith. My first thought was, what is ICM photography? I have no idea. So I looked into it and it's intentional camera movement. Now that's something I've never done before. So I had a quick look on YouTube and dug around on the internet just to see if anyone had any tips, ideas, and I found a lot of stuff which was really helpful. So I made some notes and then went to shooting. Okay, so as always with this kind of thing, there seems to be two schools of thought going on. There's those who wanna do the kind of more abstract stuff, where it's camera movements and blurs and things like that. And then there's a group of people who like to take the image and then add motion to it. I'm not sure, because I've never done either. So we're gonna try both. But I think I'm leaning towards the image and the motion. Here's some things we're gonna need. Camera with a zoom lens, a variable ND filter, step up rings and a Joby video tripod head. So in all honesty, I'm really not sure how this is gonna go. I don't know if I'm gonna get any photos that are worth keeping. I've never done like this kind of abstract sort of photography before. Let's try and get some abstract photos. not the best of starts. Because all I've done there is really is I've blurred them with a small amount of movement and then blown the entire top half of that image out. Let's try some of this. This is this is something that I, I wasn't I really wasn't sure about but we'll give it a go. So we're gonna find our frame, zoom right in, take the shot, zoom out, zoom right in. Take the shot, zoom out. That's kind of cool. This was the first bit of hope I had on the shoot. These came out better than I thought they would. They're a bit abstract, but that's sort of what we're going for. I'm not vibing this today. These two images really show the difference between pausing and taking the shot and then just sweeping through the shot with the shutter open. The difference is huge. That's not gone well at all. Well, there's still classic one movie on with the bus. Didn't even... Whoa, okay. I really love the background of this image. It looks really painterly. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go to a higher stop and we'll up the ISO instead. So my ISO is still at like 250 so it's not like high. It doesn't mean I might have the chance to get a shot moving. I'm trying to move. That's kind of cool. That is really cool. Let's see if we can get something. At the bus in the background. For this effect, I kept the camera still and then twisted it last second to get that kind of painterly vibe over the image of the car. So I wanted to come here. I wanted to try something that I saw someone doing earlier. It's going to be pretty low on the... Right. And we'll open up this one so it can go side to side. And what we're going to do is do a drag out. So... The stand was actually really restricting, but I did get this cool shot. Not all that much colour around. 
These are pretty. We can do something with this. I feel like the loops came out really well here. I was really chuffed with these. On the second shot, I gave it even more and gave it a bit more painterly kind of vibe. Let's close this shot off. Max out my ND filter. I'm gonna do the same again. Bomb. <laughs> the top ideally we actually don't want that much sky in there at all maybe we can get some of this tree and sky see what that's like so we'll start there and we'll end there this was my favorite frame of the entire shoot and i'm so happy with the images that came out from here with the last shot, I kept the shutter open and moved through it so there was less detail and it was just a wash of colour. Luck and experimenting and just taking the same shot over and over and over until you sort of get it to a point where it's not just a blurry image. But again, I'm not, I'm not massive on abstraction so it's really hard to know, wait, am I taking a photo here? Am I taking like an actual photo or am I... Or am I just taking blurry images? With this set, I was looking at the sky and the blue of the building and trying to use those black bars of the gate to cut through the image. Honestly, that was so difficult. I really struggled with this one. I'm glad I did it because I'm always glad when I go out and shoot, but abstract, maybe not my thing. Leave me a comment below. Were these just blurry images or did I sort of maybe make that line of abstract? Because for some, I really think I made it. For others, probably not. And I'm okay with that. It's all about learning and trying things out. So I hope you enjoyed the video either way. If you wanna see some POVs that are a little bit more normal, I'll link some just here. Definitely check them out. And while you're here, if you've got any ideas for videos that you want me to try out, like this one, different techniques or whatever, drop a comment. I'll probably give it a go.